It is the summer of 2016. Jose Mourinho is the Manchester United manager and the club has just broken the world transfer record. A Frenchman has returned to Old Trafford for unfinished business. This is the right club for me to achieve everything I hope to in the game, Paul Pogba said after completing his £89 million move back to United from Juventus. He has the chance to be at the heart of this club for the next decade and beyond, Mourinho added. Transfer Center Live, Man UTD Transfer Rumors Juventus meeting Pogba's representatives, Pogba likely to move abroad. Results. Who do Man UTD fans want out? Get Sky Sports, download the Sky Sports app. Twitter. Due to your consent preferences, you're not able to view this. Open privacy options. It was a deal that caused a social media frenzy. Emerging from the shadows with a red devil marked into his hair, Pogba's announcement video was followed by a sponsored music clip featuring Stormzy. The hype over hash Pog back had begun. It was supposed to be the start of something special. A new era for a club still struggling to find its feet after the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson. Three years earlier. But Pogba has been unable to inspire United to former glories. The 2017 League Cup and Europa League are the only trophies of his six-season spell. Pogba celebrates Manchester United's 2017 Europa League victory in Stockholm. After being booed off the pitch against Norwich and suffering a calf injury at Liverpool last month, Pogba looks certain to leave the club for a second time. He cannot solely be blamed for United's lack of success, but his imminent departure signals an underwhelming end to a transfer that promised so much. As his contract nears its expiry date and Europe's biggest clubs prepare to pounce, Sky Sports looks at Pogba's second United career. How did it go so wrong? Was he mismanaged? Or was it Pogba who made the mistake? What is Pogba's best position? It is a question that even now, almost six years on from his second United debut, those in the Old Trafford dugout both past and present still struggle to. But how did it begin? In his first game back against Southampton in August 2016, Mourinho played Pogba in a deep midfield role alongside Maruan Fellaini. The Frenchman had 107 touches in the game, 34 more than anyone else on the pitch. He also regained possession more times than any other player, while still finding the energy to burst forward. He finished the match having had four shots at goal, two more than any teammate. Pogba played alongside Maruan Fellaini in a deeper midfield position on his second man UTD debut in August 2016. Pogba scored nine goals and registered six assists in 51 appearances as he helped United win the League Cup and Europa League in 2016-17. In those finals, he started in a double pivot in a 4-2-3-1 formation, but at times throughout the campaign appeared on the left-hand side of a midfield three. Pogba's 57 chances created, 1,852 passes completed and 2,839 touches were his highest totals across his six seasons at the club. Despite a sixth-placed finish in the Premier League, it was a successful year for Pogba, with the promise of more to come but it came to mark the high point of his second spell at Old Trafford. Pogba has also played on the left-hand side of a midfield three on multiple occasions during his Man UTD career. Pogba remained in a central role for the majority of the 2017-18 campaign as United finished runners-up to Manchester City and lost the FA Cup final to Chelsea, but he featured sporadically towards the end of Mourinho's tenure as the pair's relationship deteriorated. Reintegrated into the squad by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and playing slightly more advanced, Pogba went on to end the 2018-19 season with 16 goals and 11 assists in all competitions, comfortably his best return in terms of goal involvements. Having scored three Premier League goals that campaign before Mourinho's sacking, he scored 10 under Solskjaer and ended as United's top scorer. It is certainly a personal highlight of Pogba's return, but also serves to show that he struggled to consistently produce those levels and fulfill his true. Pogba scored 16 goals in all competitions during the 2018-19 season and was often used in a more advanced midfield role. After an injury hit and COVID interrupted 2019-20 season, he made 42 appearances in all competitions during 2020-21 as United finished second in the Premier.
Ligue 1 lost to Villarreal in the Europa League final. It was during this campaign that he was often utilized in a wider position on the left flank, a uh, Rolehe would continue in at the start of 2021-22. He set up four goals as United thumped Leeds 5-1 on the opening day in August, another in the 1-1 draw at Southampton and two more against Newcastle in September. He remains joint sixth in the Premier League assist chart with nine, but seven of those were in the opening four games. Pogba has also been used out on the left and registered four assists from this position against Leeds on the opening day of the 2021-22 campaign. I prefer the left of a midfield three. In September 2016, Pogba made no secret of where he wanted to play in an interview with Sky Sports' Thierry Henry ahead of the Manchester Derby. If you play a three in midfield, I can play on the right or left, but I feel more comfortable to play on my left. With both Solskjaer and Ralf Rangnick preferring a 4-2-3-1 formation in recent years, though, it has not been possible for Pogba to operate in his favoured role. At the base of the midfield in that system, Scott McTominay and Fred, or at times Nemanja Matic, have been trusted more than him to remain disciplined in regularly shield a four-man defence. The number 10 position Pogba once thrived in at times under Solskjaer has also been filled by Bruno Fernandes since his arrival in January 2020. Almost six years after his comments to Henry, Pogba told French newspaper Le Figaro, at Manchester United do I really have a role? I ask the question but I don't have an answer. Pogba scored 18 goals and registered 28 assists in 108 appearances under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Success under Deschamps and Conte. Finding Pogba's best position has not been impossible for others who have coached him. While a 4-2-3-1 does not always appear to suit him, it is a system he prospered in under Didier Deschamps on the international stage for France. In the 2018 World Cup final, he started in a double pivot with Nagolo Conte, but Perhaps the Chelsea Mons' unbelievable work rate and Blaise Matuidi's ability to naturally move in from the left masked his defensive frailties. Potentially, playing in his preferred position on the left of a midfield three in a 3-5-2 formation gets the best out of Pogba, as he often did under Antonio. Contit Juventus. With Andrea Pirlo and Arturo Vidal alongside him, the added reassurance of three central defenders, two overlapping full-backs and a Second striker who often dropped back to receive the ball gave Pogba more freedom to express himself. How Conte got the best out of Pogba. Pogba to Man City a no-brainer, Cara. I wouldn't go anywhere near him. At United, though, the debate over his best position has never ended. He created more chances and made more passes when playing in a double pivot in a 4-2-3-1 formation, but play him in a more attacking role like Solskjaer did at the beginning of his reign and Pogba scores more goals. Play him wide on the left and he becomes an assist machine, but his preferred role, in his own words, is on the left of a midfield three. I am not doubting his quality, but he doesn't work hard enough. If anyone says he gives 100% in every game, that's a lie, Sky Sports' Jamie Carragher. Paul Pogba, whether in a French shirt or for Manchester United, shows unbelievable quality and does special things at different times, but we're around six years in and still talking about his best position and who can get the best out of him. Have injuries hampered Pogba's progress? 2016-17 season, missed three games with a hamstring injury. 2017-18 season, missed 12 games due to a thigh muscle rupture. 2018-19 season, missed two games due to a muscle injury. 2019-20 season, missed a total of 40 games due to a recurring ankle injury. 2020-21 season, missed 13 games due to an ankle injury and then a hamstring issue. 2021-22 season, missed 19 games due to a hamstring problem and then a calf injury. Mourinho relationship crumbles. Pogba's time at United has been shrouded in controversy and it would be remiss not to mention the deterioration of his relationship with Mourinho. After two trophies in his first season under the Portuguese, what was supposed to be a solid foundation to rebuild the club's success soon crumbled away. In 
2017-18, United finished a distant second behind Pep Guardiola's record-breaking Manchester City in the Premier League and lost to Contest Chelsea in the FA Cup. Final. Seven months later and Mourinho was gone. Jose Mourinho brought Pogba back to Manchester United in the summer of 2016 but their relationship eventually deteriorated. The major cracks first started to appear at the beginning of 2018. After being brought off just after an hour in away defeats at Tottenham and Newcastle, Pogba started on the bench for both legs of the Champions League last 16 defeat by Sevilla. His two-goal heroics and man-of-the-match performance at Manchester City that April as United overturned a 2-0 deficit to win and deny their rivals from. Claiming the title was a highlight on the pitch, but speculation over Pogba's future continued to increase off it. By the time Mourinho was sacked in December 2018 following a 3-1 loss at Liverpool, Pogba, an unused substitute at Anfield, had been stripped of United's. Vice-Captain Sciand was filmed having a disagreement with his manager at training by the Sky Sports cameras. Once I had a great relationship with Mourinho, everybody saw that, and the next day you don't know what happened, Pogba told Sky Sports in April last year. That's the strange thing I had with Mourinho and I cannot explain to you because even I don't know. Failure to win over supporters. Pogba's revelation in March that he has experienced depression several times during his career was an important reminder that professional footballers are not immune from pressure and criticism becoming too much. He was hurt by the reaction of United supporters who booed him when he was substituted during last month's 3-2 win over Norwich at Old Trafford. As he walked down the tunnel at the end of the match, he was jeered again, before cupping his hand behind his ear in retaliation. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't the first time. Rangnick on Pogba boos, not right to target individuals. When United concluded their 2018-19 Premier League campaign with a 2-0 home defeat to relegated Cardiff City, Pogba was seen receiving verbal abuse from some angry United fans in the Stratford end. United's season had ended in terrible form, collecting just two points from their final five games. Pogba, of course, wasn't solely to blame, but he often bore the brunt of the fans' frustrations. Several public comments about his future over the years from former agent Mino Raiola, who passed away in April. Couldn't they've helped his relationship with supporters? Pogba reacts to boos from Manchester United supporters after the 3-2 win over Norwich at Old Trafford on April 16. Where next for Pogba? Speaking in 2021, former United captain Roy Keane did not hold back in his assessment of Pogba's second stint at the club. He told Sky Sports, As we've all discussed many times over the last few years, Paul Pogba's a talented player, there's no getting away from that. But I, still feel he hasn't done enough at Man United. As he mentioned he fell out with Mourinho, which was a big problem at the club. I think when Man United signed Pogba, it wasn't to be playing in the Europa League or to be winning the League Cup. They paid big transfer fee, big wages for the likes of him, for United to be competing for league titles and the Champions League. Juventus meeting Pogba's representatives. Pogba likely to move abroad. Real, Juve, PSG interested. Pogba's time at Manchester United looks to be coming to an end. But as his contract runs down and his time at Old Trafford comes to an end, the debate now turns to where Pogba goes next. Despite reported interest from Manchester City, he is likely to move abroad. Former employers Juventus are holding talks over his possible return to Italy, while Real Madrid and Paris. Saint Germain are among a host of Europe's biggest clubs also interested in signing him. With 39 goals and 51 assists in 226 appearances since returning to Manchester, Pogba has won just two major honours. He has not had the desired impact. Many were hoping for, but do not be surprised if he flourishes elsewhere. In fact, it would be a shock if he didn't. Follow Manchester United with Sky Sports. Follow every Man UTD game in the Premier League this season with our live blogs on the Sky Sports website and app, and watch match highlights for free. Shortly after full time. Want the Man UTD latest? Bookmark our Man UTD news page, check out Man UTD's fixtures and Man UTD's latest results, watch Man UTD goals and video, keep. 
track of the Premier League table and see which Man UTD games are coming up live on Sky Sports. Get all this and more, including notifications sent straight to your phone, by downloading the Sky Sports Scores app and setting Man UTD as your favorite. Hear the best Premier League reaction and expert analysis with the Essential Football and Gary Neville podcasts, keep up to date with our dedicated transfer. Center, follow the Sky Sports social accounts on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube, and find out how to get Sky Sports.